My recent reviews of uh, battery charging circuits would not be complete without uh, visiting this uh, ubiquitous TP4056. Uh, it's a single LiPo charging module. Uh, on the input side here we have the choice of either charging it from a mini USB providing the 5 volts or, or it does have uh, solder tags on here that you can provide your own uh, connection to. That's not a problem. Uh, one thing, uh, it's probably the only thing that uh, can catch you out with this module is the connection of the battery itself. Now there are the solder pads here marked as obviously negative and, and positive. Now if you get those the wrong way round it will fry. Um, this little guy will go up in smoke and that is game over. Um, on this type of module there's no real way of, uh, of providing reverse battery protection because obviously it needs to monitor the, the battery closely to do its charging properly. Uh, this little chip provides the functions for constant current when it starts up and then it goes into a constant voltage mode once it gets to around uh, the 4.2 and also detects the end of charge. Uh, there are two LEDs here. There's a, a red one to indicate that it's charging and in this case uh, a green one to indicate end of charge. Sometimes you'll find those ones are blue but uh, it's equal. And it is a programmable device. It comes as default at one amp so um, that's obviously great for, for, for larger capacity cells um, some people that's not enough and I have seen uh, on the on the interweb people paralleling these guys up uh, to provide higher output currents I think I've seen somebody charging uh, 7000 milliampere batteries uh, with four of these guys in in parallel to provide up to four amps um, but it's a very versatile chip. It's programmable by this little resistor down at the bottom. As I say, by default, it's set to, to 1 amp. Now that will be a little bit too much for some of the smaller capacity batteries, and I will show you how to change that to, uh, to cope with that situation. What if, for example, we wanted to charge this little uh, lithium cell, which is only 200 milliampere hours? Uh, from one of these TP46, sorry, 4056 boards. Now these are set by the little resistor down the bottom there um, by default to one amp. Now one amp is going to be a little bit excessive for this guy. Uh, the uh, the formula is 0 0.37 times the uh, capacity of the cell which uh, for this uh, works out to be, I think, uh, somewhere around uh, only 75 milliampers. Now, it's not recommended on the data sheet for this to go below 100 milliampers. So if we set this to 100, we should be in the right, uh, in the right area, certainly better than, than one amp. And to do that, obviously, we need to change this resistor. Uh, in this instance, for 100 milliampers, it's uh, a 10K resistor that we need. So we're looking for a, a 103 surface mount uh, resistor and uh, what I do is to scout around uh, that's why this old motherboard is here I've looked around and in this area here uh, by this uh, crystal um, there are a couple of, uh, of 10k ohm resistors and uh, just for the avoidance of doubt uh, these days I'm afraid you cannot trust anything to be exactly as it's as it's labeled so just with the meter on this component here we can see that it's 10k and these little SMDs are, are 5% so we'll get that off of that board and swap it onto the onto the charger
Here is my test uh, TP4056, which I've mounted a, a little DVM on, just so I can check the, the, the voltage. Not very clear to see there, but you can see it's at 3.23. And uh, in the background, it's being powered by this um, a USB adapter. And I've just got a little monitor in line there, so we can see it's putting out 4.88 volts and currently uh, no amps. So if we plug this guy in, we can see that the red LED comes on for charging and we can see at the bottom there the voltage has uh, is dropped a little bit to 4.03 and it's charging at 260 milliampères. So this is the, uh, the, the standard board and uh, it will be overcharging that, uh, that little 200 milliampère cell. So here's the modified um, circuit with the new resistor in place and I've just um, temporarily soldered the, the little cell onto the contacts there and just using this little other DVM to, uh, to test uh, just see there that the voltage is now 3.4 uh, so we're going to plug this up to the charger and uh, see what the, the current rating is there. So here we can see um, the voltage 4.52 and the current now uh, a more respectable 110 milliamps which is uh, more suitable for charging these little cells so uh, that's been a successful mod to this little board. Here we can see the end of charge for the the, the little battery with the modified uh, circuit and uh, you can see on the display at the bottom there that it's uh, 200 and 229 milliampere hours so that's perfect we can also see that the the current has dropped to zero and that there's five volts in so the charge is terminated and uh, as we know with lithium batteries there's no uh, no float charge and this this meter is just wired across the cell as well, showing 4.19. So obviously, with the charge terminated, the uh, the cell will will start to uh, to drop self discharge. Um, this cell is not uh, of the highest quality, shall we say? Uh, but it proves the proves the point that we can modify these boards um, for the the lower currents and uh, and they behave as expected. Uh, 229 milliampere hours into a 200 milliampere battery, I would say was pretty much spot on.